Okay, welcome to my second tutorial. A subscriber uh, asked me how to do this um, basic effect in my latest edit of uh, Chaos Barney, No More Tears. So uh, let's check it out. So yeah, this, this uh, flare on the sniper. It's quite basic, but also you need to motion track the sniper. So uh, the first thing you need is optical flares, I already have it. So um, you need it from uh, Video Copilot. You can get it on his site, uh, videocopilot.net slash product slash optical flares. So you can get it here, he has a video with it too. And uh, when you have it, just make an adjustment layer. So new, adjustment layer and drag the optical flares on it okay first you do render mode over original and you have your optical flare but it's not aligned yet so first we need to track the motion so 2d motion tracking click track motion and set your track point zoom in set it on this brightest part of the scope and analyze forward so it should track uh, pretty good it's going well yeah yeah come on faster so yeah have you seen my uh, my edit for Barney most of the people liked it I enjoyed to make it too and uh, yeah it was I don't know I, I liked uh, I like the flow in it. I like the. It wasn't an over edit like my latest one, so you could see all the kills. They were almost all blind fires. Barney is really sick. It's a shame he's uh, not going to play anymore. But yeah, most of the people liked it. You should uh, watch it too. And I'm almost on 500 subscribers. So thank you for that. Thank you for supporting me. And I'll be doing. Uh, community montage soon but I'll do a separate video for that so yeah it's done it motion tracks perfectly and what you do now is you make a null go to new null object and click edit target and select the null press ok and press apply and again ok so the null is now tracked on the sniper. So the only thing you have to do now is go to your flare. Let's rename it to flare. And hold alt and click on position x, y. So you get this expression now, but you don't have to type anything. Just pick the pick whip. Oh no, first go to the null and press P for position. And pick the pick whip and go to the position of the null. So, so yes, now the flare is on the sniper. So what you so yeah, look, it's done. So you can uh, select another flare if you want. What I used in my edit was um, what was it? I don't know anymore. It was a blue one. I think it was cool flare. Could be. Not monster flare. Or I'll just use one, I don't know. Let's use a uh, green spotlight, maybe. Nah. Let's use this one. What's it called? Beam. Okay, use beam. Yeah, not bad. That looks cool. And you could add some color correction on it, but I'm not going to do that now. So yeah, m let's render it, uh, I don't know, half frame rate, I don't know, 29.97. Yeah, okay, so you see it's motion tracked perfectly and the flare is acting like it should act. With all these neat, uh, yeah, I don't know what's, what it's called, light effects or... I know here's an orb and just like a flare should act. And yeah, let's look.
Oh, what the hell? Okay, I got an error, but you know what I mean. It worked, and um, yeah, so yeah, that's it. It's pretty basic. All you need is uh, optical flares and uh, some basic 2D mo motion tracking. So yeah, leave a like, um, favorite if you want, subscribe. I need one more subscriber for 500 uh, at this moment. It might be already over 500 when you watch this. But uh, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.